Hello friends, good afternoon. Myself Dr. M.H. Chanaya and in today's session we are going to learn about the projection of a square pyramid which is resting on one of the base edges on HP such that the base appears as a rectangle in the top view. So friends, for today's session the question reads like this. A square pyramid of side of base so on so on height 60 mm rests on HP on one of its base edges. And it has got four base edges. It has to rest on one of the base edges. So basically you have to place the pyramid on HP so that one of the base edges or two of the base edges, these two are perpendicular to HP and obtain the top and front views of the pyramid. So friends, write the XY line the line of intersection of VP and HP and get the top view of the pyramid where it is placed on one of its or on its base on HP to start with. So this is the base and this figure will give you the complete top view of the pyramid and it has got a dimension of 30 mm and we will mark these corners as A, B, C, D. So this is A, B, C and this is D. This is O, vertex. And in the top view, friends, O, A, O, B, O, C, O, D represent the four slant edges of the pyramid. That is O, A, O, B, O, C, O, D. Four slant edges. A, B, C represent the four corners. This is O, the vertex, the tip of the object is the vertex and we have represented by O. Friends, let us obtain the print view corresponding to this top view. How to obtain? We project lines from A, B, C and D to meet X, Y here and this line will be A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. And this is O1, the center of the bottom face. So this will call it as O1. Friends, this line A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash represents the base of the solid, that is the square face, which is an HP. Friends, now let us obtain the corresponding front view. For this, we need the height. The height of the object is given to be 60 millimeters. So from the base, I take a height of 60 mm, I will mark it here, 60 mm, the height of the solid and join this O dash, the vertex to all the four corners of the base like O dash, A dash, O dash, B dash, O dash, C dash, O dash, D dash and O dash, O1 dash will represent the axis of the solid which is perpendicular to HP. So we also mark here O1 the center of the base. Now friends, we have the print view on top view when the pyramid is placed on HP with one of the base edges or two of the base edges normal to VP. We have got the top view a square with vertex joined to all the corners. Next it says, it is resting on one of the base edges means you will have to treat the object slowly like this. So for one particular position what happens? This inclined line gets a length of 15 millimeter. So it was 30, it becomes 50. And these two edges which are normal to VP, they remain same in length because if you just observe the length of this edge and this edge will remain the same whereas the lateral edges, these two get shortened. And he has specifically mentioned very clearly he says it appears as a rectangle. 30 by 15. So we know the top view of the object when the object is resting on one of the base edges. So adjacent to this figure, friends, I am going to construct another rectangle whose dimensions are given to be 15 by 30. That is 15 is this dimension. And this is very obviously 30. So I am going to get this top view of the base because it is given the question already. So friends, you will name this as A, this is B, the 
this is C and this point is B. We have got the four points. Then O, the center of the bottom piece is O1. We will mark it as O1. Friends, now how to obtain? We had this figure 1 and we have to redraw this figure here such that this rectangle becomes the bottom face in the top view. So what we do? Here we have got C and D here. So keep this point on X, Y. That is C dash, D dash. Write a vertical line through this. A vertical line through this point A or A, B. We write a vertical through this. Friends, we know this is the base, length of the base that is 30 mm. So now with C dash D dash center and red is equal to 30 mm, this base, we will strike an arc. So it is going to cut this vertical line drawn through A and B at this point. This is A dash B dash. Friends, we will join this A dash B dash to C dash D dash and this represents the base of the solid. And after getting the base, let us mark O1 dash, the center of that, and mark the height, that is 60 millimeter. So this is O dash. So I am going to join that O dash to A dash, B dash, O dash to C dash, D dash. So friends, we have got, this is O1 dash, O dash, O1 dash, this length is equal to this. So friends, figure number 1 and figure number 2, are exactly the same, except this is drawn at an angle. Now friends, is also asking you, after getting this figure, uh, let me complete this uh, vertex part, draw a vertical line from O, a horizontal from here, the point where these two intersect, is the point O. So I have to complete this. When you look from the top, friends, you can see the line OA, the line OB, that is OA and OB are the two slant edges. So I am going to join O to A by a full line, O to B by a full line, then I have to join O to C and O to D. All this I should join. No friends, we can observe here. We know OA and OB are visible in the top view. So OA and OB are visible. So here it, the object is resting on CD. CD is one of the shorter edges of the base, but that is not visible in the top view. When C dash D dash is not visible, I have to show this CD in the top view by an invisible line or a dotted line. So friends, it is very clear from this that the object is resting on CD. CD is one of the shorter edges of the base and this top view appears as a rectangle of the size 30 mm by 15 mm. Friends, he is asking now, measure the inclination of the base of the pyramid with HP. What is the base now? Friend, it was making zero angle when it was resting on its base on HP. Now it is at an angle. So how to obtain this angle, friends? So this is the base. You find out what is the angle this base is making with the HP. So we can find out this angle. We call this as some theta. The theta can be measured. And if they ask you to find out what should be the inclination of the axis, friends simply extend that, find out this angle. So we have got this angle as theta. If this is phi, theta plus phi is equal to 90 degree because the axis and the base are normal to each other. So you will be able to find out that also. And in some of the questions, they ask you, to find out the highest distance of the highest edge of the base of the pyramid from the HP. So if you just measure this height, that will give you the height of the highest edge, A dash, B dash, from this. Friends, you have got the top view, you have got the front view, when the base is appearing as a rectangle 30 by 15 in the top view. Now he says, draw the projections when the side on which it rests is inclined at 30 degrees to BP. So friends, see here, the solid is resting on CD. That CD line here is perpendicular to BP. 
but it has to be at an angle of how much 30 degrees to VP. Friends, what I do, I write a line here at an angle of 30 degrees to VP because the inclination to VP can be seen only in the top view and I just transfer this figure number 3 said that that CD, the edge on which it is resting, falls on this. So friends, what I do, I will write down this, the length, that is CD on this. CD will have a length is equal to 30 mm, so we will mark it here. This is 30, and then from this CD, this gap is 15, so I mark 15 here. I join that. So friends, this is CD. This is C and this point is D. We we'll mark here C and this is D. And parallel to that is AB at a distance of 15. So this is 15 mm. And this point is going to be AB. AB. So friends, now I have to mark this locus or this axis of the solid. And O I have to mark, O is towards this DC. So I write a center line from here, a line perpendicular to this. This is the axis. So I will show it as O dash, O1 dash. So I will mark it here. This is the point O. And you got A, B, C, D. And let me join all these. So C, D as usual is a dotted line because it is not visible i'm going to join o to b o to c o to a and o to b i've joined all this that is to say in other words i have redrawn figure three as figure number four with only the difference is that the edge cd which is normal to vp is at an angle of 30 degrees to vp friends you got the final top view and we have to obtain the corresponding print view for this. Friends will project lines from all these corners and the vertex and get what's called a print view of the solid. So let's start from point A. So A and B will fall on this line. So we'll draw a horizontal line to A dash B dash. Now if we draw a vertical line from here, the vertical line drawn through A cuts this horizontal line drawn to A dash at point A dash. Similarly, B is here. Get this point B. So, this B is obtained. When you draw a vertical line from B, a horizontal line from B dash, the point of intersection will give you B dash. So, we we'll call it as B dash. If you have A dash, you have B dash. C and D are here. So, this is our the point D. It is on x, y and c will be somewhere here at the equal distance. So this is our point a, b, this is c dash and this point is d dash. Friend, we have got o1, horizontal from here, vertical from this. They meet at some point here, that is going to be o1 dash. Finally, we have to obtain vertex. So, draw a horizontal line through O dash, a vertical line through this O. The point of intersection of these two will give you the vertex in the print through that is O dash. Friends, now, see, this base of the solid is nearer to the observer and you will be able to see all the four corners of the base. So, I am going to join a dash, B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to D dash, and D dash to A dash. This is the complete base of the solid, and that has to be connected to the vertex O dash. So let us join O dash to A dash, O dash to B dash, O dash to C dash, and O dash to D dash. Friends, when I am joining O dash to D dash, what happens? It is intersecting this line. So we know this already a full line. The other line should be a dotted line. So friends, I will join this by a dotted line. So that is not visible to us.
so this is our point o1 so mark it here this is o1 dash friends you can observe here finally this figure represents the front view of the pyramid which is resting on side cd on hp and you can see here friends the base is making an angle theta that can be measured using a protractor and this front view and top view will give the complete projection of the pyramid resting on hp on one of its shorter edges that is cd of the base friends i hope you are happy with the presentation and if you are happy please share the information with all your friends have a wonderful day